Should we go get a treat? Yeah. Yeah! Hello and good morning, you guys. We are starting out this day pretty great, actually. It is raining, raining, raining today. It has been so windy the last couple of days and I think that's because it's been bringing in a storm. It's been raining all night and it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. I guess you have to have rain to make beautiful flowers. We have an exciting day today because we get to hang out with Leah all day long. And then after that, Brand and I are gonna head out, just the two of us, and go do some travel stuff that we're working on. The girls are gonna have a ton of fun today. First, I'm gonna take them to dance because it is Thursday, it's dance day. So I'm gonna take them to dance and then we have a few little girls things planned, painting fingernails, having tea parties, all that girl stuff that's just so much fun. Part of the errands that I ran is I went to Target this morning because I had a little bit of time in between going to get shipping supplies. I ran out so I had to go get more. Going to get Leah. I bought this really cute stuff for Easter dinner. They have these really cute plastic plates that are like that hard plastic. They're really thick, but these are great because you don't throw them away. You just reuse them. Then I bought cute paper plates to put on top of them. I feel like those look very Eastery. And then a little dessert plate and a napkin. And then they have these great, I think it's called melamine. It's plasticky, really cute blush colored cups. And then they had this darling little pitcher. So I ended up grabbing all of this for our Easter dinner, which I know is not for a while, but the sooner you can get prepared on holidays, I usually do try to do it about a month ahead of time. That way you're not cramming and going, stores don't have anything I need, I can't find anything. I always plan way ahead, get stuff a month ahead of time. Now, have I always done that? No. There are some holidays and some years where I'm just like last minute sadly and I'm at the store the night before, it just happens. But if you can and you think about it and you plan well enough in advance, you can do it a month ahead of time. These girls are getting ready for dance. What are these? They're post-it notes. Yeah. Leah's here. Leah looks so cute and she's wearing the right shoes today because it is rainy, rainy, rainy. You girls ready and excited for dance? Yeah! Show me what you're gonna do. We don't are we we're going to dance. We should know. Finish your little snacks and we'll get in the car, okay? Um I'm gonna go in the car with my mom. And about mom, can you give me um a milk in a sip cup? <laughs> yes. I don't know. <laughs> got the girls all situated at dance and I'm gonna go get Mr. Brex right now. The rain has finally slowed a little bit. It has been coming down in sheets today. I can't even believe it. Hopefully Brexton didn't play outside a ton at recess because he probably got soaking wet if he did. <laughs> <laughs> I just fixed my Rexy doodle up from school. What did you do today? Um, we had PE. PE? He counted from one to a hundred and wrote all the numbers down on a paper so he got a treat at school, huh? Yeah. Four. Yep. Four treats today. Big boy, you are so smart. All right, let's go in and get the girls from dance and then maybe we'll go get some lunch, okay? Okay. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Did you get a treat at dance? Yeah. And look at my big helper. I do Hazy and he does Leah, huh? Big helper. They did awesome. It's so cute because they're learning their dance and in a couple weeks, we get to go in and watch it. We get to show you guys. Can't wait for that. Should we go get a treat? Yeah. Yeah! Wow! We're home from dance. We're gonna have a tea party. The girls have requested to have quesadillas. Leah might be a little bit more picky than my kids, which is totally great because now that I know her really well, I know what she likes to eat. I know that we're having quesadillas for lunch and because we're doing a tea party, I put it on a really pretty little plate. So we're gonna serve these to the girls. Here you go, Leah. It's a quesadilla for you. Hazy, here's yours, Hazy. Thanks. There you go, and let me get your tea, okay? Okay. I've got this cute little tea set that I bought from Ikea. Here you go. It's for your spot of tea. Tea. To minimize the glass, Minnie Mouse is going to be the one giving us our tea today. All right, there you go. Let me get just a spot of tea with lunch. I want one. You want some? Oh. There you go. Okay, have a really good lunch, okay? <laughs> After dance, we went and got treats. And this girl right here, guys, she absolutely loves just straight chocolate. So she chose a chocolate bar. And Hazy was like, ooh, chocolate bar, huh? Show them what kind of chocolate bar you got. <gasps> A cookies and cream chocolate bar. So yummy. Okay, you guys have your tea party and eat your lunch, okay? Okay, I love quesadillas. Then you eat them? Um, um, um. I wanna. Um, nom, nom, nom. Is it so good? Oh, yeah. do you guys know the proper way? Uh huh. When you hold your cup, you put your pinky out. Just yeah. like that. Can you guys try? Put your pinky out. Okay. 
Just like that. Pinky. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> Hazy, we also need to teach you not to chug your tea. Leah, are you left-handed? Hey! Maybe she's left-handed. Are you helping, Hazy? I need some help out there from all of you DIYers, home solutioners. I don't really have access to that here in my own house. Um, sorry. <laughs> what is going on? But, can anyone figure out how to I get these help. greasy stains out? This is my favorite hoodie on planet Earth. And I still wear it despite the fact that I spilled something on this. I don't know when, I don't know what, I don't know how much. But I do know that it's been through the wash a couple of times. And it's like, what, a grease stain? Is that what you're thinking? What do you think it is? I know what to do. You do? Oh my gosh, you guys, whoa. Oh, hello. Comment below if Mindy doesn't know what to do. I do know what to do. <laughs> what do you do? It's just a matter of doing it. Or do you know what these little what I, things what? are for? <laughs> They're for using Editing, them. Typing out emails. But wait. Uh, Okay. What do you do? DIY. What's the secret? You guys use blue Dawn dish soap. For whatever reason, it has to be the blue Dawn. And then you use baking soda. You put it on and you let it marinate a little bit. You can even take a toothbrush and kind of scrub it like really cute. How did I know you would but, do this? I just wanted to call you out on it because then you'd maybe actively do it. So next time you guys see me wearing this hoodie, let's see if she's done her little home remedy and if it worked. I know it's my spill. I know everyone it's my bad. comment down below. I know Brandon I should, should do, do it. Own laundry. But okay, you guys know me well enough now. We've been family long enough now. How do you think it would turn out if I did it? Would it have a giant white Clorox bleach spot right in the middle. <laughs> yes, it would. Or I don't know these magic tricks of mixing teriyaki sauce with Blue Dawn lemon. What did you mix with it? I can't remember. Baking soda. Oh, teriyaki sauce is what probably got it on there. Baking Anyways. soda or baking powder. I one of the two. It out. I love this hoodie. While you're at it, maybe you could go upstairs and put all your laundry away because it's all over our bedroom floor. Oh my gosh. This is making you look really bad. Is this payback for saying that I don't have a DIY home solutioner in the house? <laughs> Or it's payback for the other day in the vlog. He opened it with me totally messing up on the rest and I was like, you're not gonna put this in the video, right? He goes, yeah. No, what you said was, is you're gonna put this at the end, aren't you? And I was like, no, I'm gonna put it at the beginning. <laughs> Payback. You guys, I think Brexy's loving the tea party just as much. He has so much fun playing with these girls. I got a tea cup too! <laughs> Brexy, my glasses come tomorrow, so you can tell me all the tricks to wearing glasses, okay? Okay. Mom's gonna join the glasses club with you. That's really cool, dude. We're gonna be the only smart ones in the house. Well, that's not changing anything. That's how it's been before glasses. <laughs> Whoa, Dad. Another trip to the post office, guys. Stuff's coming your way. He's gonna load up that truck so yeah. high. This is one box of many, by the way. <laughs> Because you guys are the greatest! You look like you're going to heaven right now. After yesterday, I'm surprised that you didn't. Merge heaven. I Yeah, last, yesterday I almost did. Got him? <laughs> girls have been so good. It's time for Leah to go home. Can you guys give each other hugs? Say goodbye to Leah. Let's go get Micah and Savannah and Ryler and crew from school and we'll go home, okay? Ready to come with me? Fresh back from the post office. Got all those packages in the mail dropped off. That was quite a few boxes and bags coming your way. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I don't know what mom has told you or if she's brought you up to speed what's going on this afternoon. We have got some travel preparations, travel pre-planning to take care of. Top secret stuff. Sorry, I can't let you in on it. I know you guys love that kind of stuff. But I just have to say, people complain a lot about driver's license pictures and talk about how horrible those are and how they always turn out bad. I have never had a good passport picture in my life. I've only had a couple, maybe three passport pictures in my life and they are atrocious, you guys. Look at this. Right, guys, this is my passport. Look at this picture. How horrible is this picture? And the one I had before, I just found it last night. It has holes punched in it. It was an expired one. It was way, way worse. Let's see how mom's looks. And then there's mom. She just doesn't even take a bad picture. That's a pretty decent picture of mom. Passport pictures, way worse than driver's license pictures. Also, I had to tell you, so only mom and I are going to this. The kids are gonna have a babysitter for a minute just for the after school snack and list of things to do for the kids and for the babysitter that we're gonna have for just a few minutes. We have Rag Guy's gotta clean up cat litter, pick up his room, do the dishwasher. Here's an after school snack. Cribby Doo, trash is upstairs, downstairs, pick up your room and do the basement. Here's your snack. Brexy, trash is in main floor. Here's your snack. Hazy, put away toys in the front room. Here's your snack. Also, Brex and crew have piano, but mom just has the whole thing laid out, sticky noted. Really, would you expect anything less from Mindy's Best? So, we're gonna get that taken care of right now. We'll be back in a minute and we'll see if the kids' chores are done when we get back. Soon after. We just got home and the kids did 
all their chores and they were so good. The babysitter said they did great, they were awesome. Came back and Hazy has a cute French braid in her hair from the babysitter, so we are super glad. You guys probably remember from yesterday's video that I am helping out with the kids' classes a little bit because it's Teacher Appreciation Week. I was in charge of gathering donations from the parents to make baskets for the teachers. You might remember I did this last year, so I'm doing it again. Brandon and I went out and we gathered some items. When you're a room mom, they give you this great folder that has all the teachers' favorite color, treats, drinks, where they like to shop and everything, so it makes getting them gifts super easy. This is everything I've gathered. This is for the TA. She likes caramel M&Ms, pina colada sobe. We got her a gift card and a cute little saying, and of course a bath bomb to relax. I have these awesome baskets to use. We got this one for Cruz teacher. This is just something that made me think of her. She loves chocolate, Hershey's bar all around today. And then we got her a gift card as well, and a bath bomb to relax, and her favorite drink is a Propel. I got some tissue paper. Did you say peanut butter cookies? I, I did been, say peanut okay, butter sorry. cookies. When I went to the school yesterday, I had the kids in the class all right. Special thank you to their teacher. I went and had them bound, so that's also gonna go in their basket. Now bring it to me. It's a great job. <laughs> So this is it, it was really easy, just a few little things, it doesn't need to be completely overboard, but this is just something to let their teachers know how much we love and appreciate them, and you guys, if you are a teacher or an aide, or you work with kids at all, all day long, you deserve an award because I could not do it. I am so, so thankful to all my kids' teachers, I love them so much. You teachers rock, seriously, it's a lot of work. We have come to the end of a very eventful and wonderful day. Long day. Kids are in bed, success. We've been packaging up and shipping out orders, you guys. If you ordered a tumbler or a water bottle after we sold out, it may be like a week before it gets to you because we have rushed the second round of orders which have now again sold <laughs> you guys, out. and they sold out. <laughs> you are blowing our minds. Yeah, we just can't keep up with the demand and you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for that. And so. I'm so glad you guys are liking him because little side note, he's like, Oh, uh, I can't believe you're tell him yeah. this. <laughs> I'm going to. I said, I love my water bottle. I have an idea. Let's do water bottles. He's like, like, Who's gonna buy a water bottle? Nobody will buy those. It's because I'm not a water bottle user. We were in Hawaii, everyone's buying Hydro Flask, they're so excited for their water bottles. I live by my water bottle. And I was just like, I don't get it, but I got one because it said Hawaii on it. I wanted a souvenir. Anyways, that's where the idea came from. Proved her right, me wrong. Congratulations, everyone. I said, how do the words taste? Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Speaking of delicious, oh. before you go oh. to bed, you are going to be making the most epic Trader Joe's shopping list from all of your suggestions. They're pouring oh in gosh. on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. Thank you so much. Our first ever Trader Joe's haul coming tomorrow. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's potentially gonna be really big because we're gonna be like sensory overload, never having been in a Trader Joe's, all of your suggestions. Mandarin chicken, cookie butter. Cookie butter. Everything seasoning that's like- I've heard a lot, though. everything seasoning to I've get. I've heard so much of it. We will be there tomorrow, Trader Joe's, massive haul coming your way, don't miss it. Thanks for being a part of our lives, subscribing and liking and thumbs upping the videos and interacting with you us. You guys are awesome. You guys are the greatest. We are gonna head to bed. We love you, thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Let's bring along. <laughs> you better put that in the vlog. <laughs> For how many times you gave me that? Uh, all around. Uh, yes, uh, I did not too. You just <laughs> that was the water bottle. Say, excuse me. <laughs> uh, speaking of water bottles. Oh, my hair looks crazy. Uh,